after around 390, there is no known reference to Alexander's tomb. The prevailing theory is that Alexander's tomb was destroyed along with the Serapeum and all the other polytheistic shrines. A radical alternative theory has been proposed, one that seems to come right out of a conspiracy novel. Andrew Chug has noticed that right after Libanius' last mention of Alexander's tomb, references start to appear to the tomb of someone else, the Christian Saint Mark. We first start to get mentions of a tomb of Saint Mark that can be dated accurately almost the next year in AD 392. Saint Mark lived in Alexandria in the first century. But in spite of over a decade of research, Chug has found no references to a tomb of St. Mark before 392 CE, in spite of him being dead for nearly 350 years. The interesting thing then is that we have these references that are talking about the appearance of St. Mark's tomb on a timescale just after the disappearance of Alexander's body. St. Mark and Alexander have an obvious link. In the case of Alexander, he's the founder of the city, and that's the reason for its name, of course. In the case of St. Mark, he's the founder of Christianity in the city of Alexandria, his first chief uh, Christian official. St. Mark has been dead for around 350 years, and it seems there is no reference to his tomb until the explosion of Christianity at exactly the same time references to Alexander's tomb stop. The coincidence in time is matched by a coincidence in location. Ancient references place Alexander's tomb at a crossroads at the center of the city. A medieval map of Alexandria claims to show the location of St. Mark's tomb. This map locates uh, the site of St. Mark's body, and it happens to be near where the crossroads of ancient Alexandria was, where it looks as though Alexander's mausoleum may have been. It almost looks as though the tomb of St. Mark took over from the tomb of Alexander as being the central core sanctuary of the city of Alexandria. This theory fits with evidence from all across the Roman world. Renaming and adapting temples and rites from pagan to Christian was extremely common. The disappearance of Alexander's corpse seems to happen immediately before St. Mark's tomb arrives in Alexandria. They seem to be in the same place. The mausoleum of Alexander seems to be in more or less the same place as the church of St. Mark, which housed his tomb. The possibility is that they actually used the same body. They may have switched identities. 